So what does it take to keep the French happy? Foie gras, fine wines, stinky cheese should be enough, one might think. But now they're upset over being punished for eating what is a disappearing delicacy. And it's all because of a small bird called the ortolan. Researchers claim it's disappearing from French skies while migrating and ending up straight on French plates. And the bird is considered a delicacy. There's even a complicated recipe on how to cook them and the bizarre ritual of eating them are diners having to hide their heads under big white napkins. Robert Eggblom, the editor of the Swedish science journal that published the study, says that when it comes to the fine dining issues, it's all a matter of personal taste. I'm not an expert on French cuisine, um, and I've never tried it myself. But apparently, it's the best thing you can eat, according to the people who does this. People have bizarre habits all over the world, I think. Uh, but uh, I'm mainly concerned about the population decline. If we can raise awareness about this problem, then uh, I hope it will help uh, put more pressure on the French authorities and the French people to actually do something about this habit. Yeah, Autoland's numbers are declining and it's forbidden to hunt them. In France, those who break the law face a 6,000 euro fine. However, there are reports Autoland's may be brought back on, uh, can be purchased, I should say, on the black market for over 100 euros each. Now, the fate of the Autoland has uh, sparked some debate on social networks. Uh, some Twitter users saying it's cruel to eat the bird. Others uh, call it the cruelest dish in the world. However, others uh, do find some humour there, as does the uh, UK Conservative think tank founder Ben Harris Kinney, who says it's all a bit silly. It's a minor issue, it's a bizarre issue uh, to, to be occupying the territory of, of international affairs and politics. But the French are always defensive of their uh, national cuisine and their right to a national cuisine. Um, and uh, from a Swedish point of view, France is eating through a one of Sweden's most uh, cherished national birds. So I'd imagine that there are a lot of people that are upset about that. But uh, I can't see this ever being a, a major international issue of, of disagreement.